minutes. We must be near their stronghold. Maybe that's where they're holding Schiller a prisoner. Your friends? Ha! They are walking right into our trap. For the last time, are you going to tell us the secret of your gyro compass or not? You're wasting your time, Captain. Go back and tell your mysterious leader, whoever he is, that this invention belongs to the Marines. And tell the Capitan, there are only a few Americans. We can take care of them. Captain, there are only a handful of soldiers. That will make it more simple. We will have no difficulty in capturing them. They're <laughs> fighting the Marines, mister. And before it's over, your bandits will know they've been in a battle. We can hold them off from here as long as the ammunition lasts. We have to make every shot count. Soldier, they're popping us from behind. Hey, did you ever see swamp grass growing in the ripple? No. You got him. I got an idea. So have I. We should have joined the Navy. Give me a couple of those hand grenades. What are you going to do? I'm going to find their ammunition supply and toss in a pineapple. You'll never make it. Rob number 100 to 1. I'm taking that chance. We've got to save Schiller. Okay. We'll keep him busy, and when we hear the explosion, we'll start moving in. Happy landing. Don't take any wooden nickels, soldier. Come on! 
it easy, old man. I'll have you out of here in a jiffy. USA again. Yeah, and the first thing I'm going to do is get me a great big T-bone steak smothered in mushrooms and fried onions with huckleberry pie and ice cream. There you go, Mac. Always thinking of your stomach. Good news, fellas. I just got a radio message from headquarters saying they're going to give my gyro compass a final test when we get back to the base. Great. I hope it works. Don't forget to wash your neck, soldier. Never mind the wisecracks. I got a date with the swellest gal in town. <laughs> What's the matter with her? Is she blind or something? No, just smart. She knows class when she sees it. And she's driving out in her own car to pick me up. That's what gals think of me. Must be the hair tonic that gets them. Hair tonic, my eye. That's my personality, my friend. Personality. Is she a good dancer? Good dancer? It's like walking on air when you step out with her. Well, so long, heartbreaker. Hope you don't have to walk home. You're a lifesaver, Francis. You just have time to go to the flying field and see your brother land. Oh, but I promised Mac I'd wait Who, for... McGowan? He won't be out for an hour. He's having foot trouble. Foot trouble? Yeah. There's the plane now. Congratulations, Sergeant. Your gyro compass will certainly revolutionize flying. Thank you, sir. I'm going to Colonel Bennett and tell him that with your invention, nothing can stop us from landing on Halfway Island. Hello, Seth. How's Thomas A. Edison, Jr.? Great. And so is the invention. Captain Grayson is going to recommend me for that flight to Halfway Island. You mean to tell me that that contraption actually flies the plane? Not exactly, but it keeps the plane from veering off its course. Oh, I hate to have you starting off on another trip so soon. <laughs> Remember, sis, I'm in the Marines. Don't cry, Francis. I'll be your big brother while he's away. I'll big brother you if you don't tell me where you hid my shoe. Your shoe? You mean you can't find it? Don't act innocent, the Royal. Sergeant McGowan, you're familiar with dress regulations? Yes, sir, but... No buts. Go back to your quarters and finish dressing. <laughs> I have to check in at the hangar. See you later. Now, that's a pal for you. 
accusing me of stealing his shoe. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Well, all's fair in love and war. It steered a true course, in spite of all our efforts to throw it off. Gentlemen, this invention of Sergeant Chillers seems to be the solution of our problem. How does it strike you, Douglas? Well, I'm sorry, Colonel, but I still wish you'd give up this hopeless attempt to establish a landing field on Halfway Island. I don't think that instrument can combat the magnetic dead spot that has caused the destruction of every ship and plane that's tried to reach the island. Of course, your feelings are naturally influenced by the fact that you were forced to give up a similar project. And you'll give it up, too, after you've sacrificed the lives of the men you're sending on this flight? I appreciate your sincerity, Douglas. But unfortunately, every step in the progress of civilization is fraught with danger and difficulty. The government needs a landing field in Halfway Island. We're determined to go through this project at any cost. Expect a radio report hour by hour on the progress of your trip. Yes, sir. Well, good luck, men. And a happy landing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There they are. I'd like to say goodbye to my sister, sir. All right, Sergeant. I'll meet you at the plane. Goodbye, sir. I hate to leave you with these two leathernecks. Don't worry, Bill. She'll be in good hands. Thanks, Mac. That's the first nice thing you've ever said about me. All right, then. Let's go. Well, goodbye. I'll let these two mugs kill each other. So long. Don't forget to bring back a souvenir. Set that plane down on Halfway Island. Those men will. I hope so. Just to show Douglas the Marines always finish what they start. Strange that he should be so opposed to our building a landing field on that island. You don't think that he... That's easy to understand. Douglas has been trying to build a floating airport near that island for some time. When we complete our project, his undertaking will be useless. He's can't lose a fortune. Any messages, Miss Martin? No, Mr. Douglas. Well, I've got some important work to do. I don't want to be disturbed. Very well, sir. Yes. Yes. I'll call you back later. Yes, sir. In that last haul, we've got over $300,000 worth of loot stored up in this cave. Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, I'll take my share right now and give this island back to the natives. You'll take your share when the tiger shark gets ready to give it to you and not before. Tiger shark. Tiger shark. Every day we risk our lives for him. 
We don't even know who he is. Si, si, who is he? You'd better be careful what you say. Better men than you have tried to find out who the tiger shark really is, and you know what happened to them. <coughs> tiger shark. Receiving. F-7-0, transmitting. Orders from the Tiger Shark. Marine plane on way to Halfway Island. Follow through. Advise the Tiger Shark that everything will be in readiness to receive them. M-7-0, signing off. one we can't afford to miss. And it isn't loot this time. It's our next. I'll say it's our next. If we ever get those Marines after us. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. We'll crack them up as fast as they send them over. The X-19 sending. We are now within 400 miles of Halfway Island. We're flying at an altitude of 6,000 feet. Hello, boy, Schiller. Stay with it. We're pulling for you, Leatherneck. We're at speed of 200 miles an hour. Our compass working perfectly. They're certainly making a remarkable time. Yes, but they haven't hit the dead spot area yet. The speed they're making, they'll be heading into it soon. Pedro, you stand by the sound detector and call us the moment you pick up that motor. Si, senor. Up that wreckage. Order out every available plane. Yes, sir. Are you Henderson radio the base at Honolulu start search immediately? Yes, sir. Get me near your headquarters at once.
I'm sorry, but Mr. Douglas isn't in. Well, I'm Miss Schiller. Mr. Douglas wanted to see me about something. Oh, yes. But he was called out suddenly. He should be back any moment. Won't you please wait? Well... You better stay. Must be something important. You're sure you won't mind? Of course not. I have to get back to barracks right away. I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. And thanks a lot. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Bennett's office, please. Uh, Colonel Bennett is not here. When Colonel Bennett returns, please tell him that Miss Schiller is bringing her brother's gyro compass to headquarters. I'll tell him. Colonel, I can't understand your attitude in this matter. Sir, Miss Schiller just telephoned. She find her brother's compass coming through the barracks with it right away. Miss Schiller's brother? You sure? Where'd she telephone from? Uh, she no say, sir. Did you hear that, Douglas? Sergeant Schiller's compass. Yes, it sounds incredible. If this is true, it may clear up the entire mystery. I wish you'd let me know if it's so. Well, I... I think I'd better go back to my office. Tiger Shark. Frances Schiller is on her way to the Marine base with that gyro compass. It's up to you to stop her before she reaches Colonel Bennett. Okay. Hey, Mac. I thought these old crates were condemned. Yeah. They're using them for anti-aircraft target practice. Yeah? Where's the radio control crew? They're on the range, near the gun crew. Hey, when'll I make a contact, will you? Sure. Contact complete, sir. Start the plane. Aye, sir. We've made in a row. Where do you get that waste stuff? All you do is hook up a couple of little wires. Say, why did Douglas send for Francis? I don't know yet, sharpshooter. But when I talk to the lady, we may give you the details. Say, what do you mean, we? you for that package, miss. Thank <laughs> you. 
Contact complete, sir. Start the plane. Aye, sir. Three five. Range two four hundred. Deflection three five. Commence firing. Commence firing. 